Hi everyone, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today I am trying to sound sorry because well off cam Nick passed, which is um, Katie's father. He passed at, during the firefighter career trying to save the family's home somewhere in the far off land. This is Dylan's mom paying her respects to Nick. And Katie is here with Dylan trying to still process it. They are both heartbroken by his death. Originally I was going to show his death on camera. However, my file got corrupted. So I can't go back. But I feel like this almost works better. So if you... You guys probably have not read my story because I only have two chapters posted, so not, not much has happened. But if you're interested, please comment down below for my Wattpad info. Um, however, um, Katie and her mom grow further apart than they've ever been from his death. And sh she ruins everything good in her life. So I'm going to have her act tough like... I don't need your help Dylan and stuff because she's not the type of person to let people in. And she's gonna apologize for like letting out so harshly but she she still means what she said <laughs> deep down. And I'm not gonna just have it a sudden breakup but over time he's going to try to reach out to her and she's going to like deny him a lot and so I'm just gonna have her send him home because she can't deal with it right now wait can I send him home or no um I don't see where I can I just see how the option to say goodbye so I'm gonna have her mourn her dad. Mourn. Okay. And as you can see, her mom's definitely torn up about it, but instead of like being out here and mourning him, instead she's in bed just wasting her life away. There's poor Katie. It's, it's such a dark photo that I'm probably gonna have to get another one, but. There she is, Marnie Nick. Um she she blames herself, although there is nothing she could have done. She thinks that she could have stopped him from running in and stuff. And she's crushed. She just wants to get through with her school and get away from all the memories of this place because everything she looks around and she sees her dad and it makes her really depressed and you're not having coffee. And so she like just works and she buries herself in work. Um, she buries herself in work. Um, and doesn't let herself really process his death the way she should because um, she wants her mom and her mom just isn't really acting like um, herself and they of course grow further and further apart because um, usually she'd have her dad help her with the homework but not today <laughs> never again actually <laughs> And so she's just working on her homework, all lonely, missing her dad. It, but she, it, she like wants. She, she I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But her mom is just walking slowly around the house, all sad. We'll see how she looks in a few hours, hopefully. Okay, so she's working on her homework, um, and she's almost done. Although she's used to getting it done quicker because she has help from her dad. So, 
Um, she's gonna go talk to her mom and stuff, but she's gonna pretend to be tough because that's how her mom's been treating her. And you better not put that in the bookcase, Katie. If you do, you're in serious trouble. Okay, she's putting in her inventory, but she's staying way too long. Is her mom coming or no? Her mom's just walking. Is she gonna mourn? She's just walking. She's not even going to this grave. And Kitty's trying to chase after her, hoping that she'll change her mind, but instead she's just blowing her off her. I'm gonna have her apologize, but then she's gonna go away. She's gonna be, I'm sorry Katie, I'm just not myself. But then she's going to go away. Everyone processes stuff different. <coughs> Where they process stuff pretty much alike, but that's a problem because it pushes them further apart. And so Katie's going to work her butt off, and by Monday she's hopefully going to be done with high school and stuff, she thinks. And so she's like ready to move on with her life. Because she's like, I need to get out of this town and reinvent myself, or else I won't stop thinking about him. Okay, so right now Katie's not doing that well. She's very sad and if someone on our door or oh that's her mom. Okay. So she's researching Foxbury right now, trying to decide what she wants. So originally in my first video I said she, I, I thought she'd go to like an agent university like Rochester. I I called it agent where I meant historical because it's not agent, it's just historical. I, I like the historical vibes a lot, and I feel like she would too. However, um, I need to double check what she would like according to my story. Okay, so in my story she goes to Cornell University, which is in New York, in the city sort of. So I'm going to have her go to Rochester because it does look the most like it, although Foxbury would be good too. And she will be majoring in economics. She won't be in a distinguished degree since that will be at Foxbury. And she's look. She looks at Rochester, and um, and now she's looking at scholarships. She could get the Newcrest resident. That's all she can get. And so she's like heavily thinking, and she's asking her guidance counselor for advice. Can she start applying yet? I don't think she can. I'll see if she can. But she, she definitely wants to get out of town as soon as possible. She thinks that like here just sucks for no reason. So she could get them from her skill base, being distinguished, need based career, resident grant, and Okay, so she'll apply for the helping hand, and then she'll apply for the other one, the new press What is this? Okay. So I'll one. Bad thing. Okay. okay. Apply. And so now it's time to start getting her skills ready. So she's going to be focusing on getting her logic, but mainly research and debate up to level 3, and then the charisma and the logic for the thing. So she's pouring herself into her work instead of just processing it. Well, her mom is really eating, like, she has someone else at the table. 
This is so sad. Like, I can't just keep it off the top now. Okay, anyway. We're gonna see how they are probably in a few hours. Okay, so, although to me, it's not really doing good. The only thing that I do is to remember what's called. To try to cheer her up. Like, she, like, she, like, she tried to cheer him up. Whatever. Can't put it in order. And so, although she reluctantly says yes, she really doesn't want to go. And it's kind of bad, I don't know. Oh, 
like it so much that I saw like the piece of food pop left in the corner. I saw the um, Owen accidentally. Uh oh, this is seriously racing inside sadness. I'm about to research the bugs though because I know she would not want that. Okay, let's stop. Can I put that for you? So I'm just gonna, um, she would have been the problem for me because I feel like she is in doing all her school relationships class to see someone negative. So I'm going to invite him to stay the night, so we're going to travel back to the house. And the room needs to stay the night, nothing's going to happen because I feel like she's going to hit the same point. Um, until she's positive. And right now I think she's finding untrue feelings, and also she's going to be um, so we're going to bring him back, so, and they can to go over, like, big, big American. So we are back, and I said, I'm going to bring him back to the night, because he has to get on the same lot, or else I already would have. There he is taking selfies, being intuitive, um, she feels. She feels like she's, like, not making it a big deal. So I feel like she would yell at him. Um, at first she already tough, and then she yell. Like, she be like, I'm not that smart. Okay, I'm sorry. I just have to create a little drama because I never do this way. No, no, no. Um, so, then I have her yell at him. Okay, and then I'm gonna have her, her, her judge him. Because she's like, how could not. Um, and then, of course she would sort of apologize, but it wanted to be a full blown apology. And I'm gonna ask her to invite him to see my stuff. I got her charisma skill to level 3, so that's good. Um, but we're gonna have her come over here with Dylan. And she's gonna hopefully be able to mark her dad, I don't know. Sometimes it disappears. He hasn't haunted them yet, so I think he really wants to be at rest and at peace because he died knowing what he loved. However, she won't let him go, because she's not that way. Where's Dylan? She needs to show her to cry on him. He's so behind him. Okay. Okay, there we go. And so, I think she realized that people were starting to forget all about her dad and life was going on. <laughs> and I don't want to, but I feel like she gets so angry um, at Dylan for trying to connect with her. Um, he begs her to like let him in and she sort of doesn't want to so she figures the only way to get him to stop trying is to break up with him although he continues to try even though they're broken up because he still has hope for her and they are still technically cast as best friends we will not be going to the market she is too sad
She's like, I know what I want, and I'm sorry, Dylan. I'm gonna have her beg his forgiveness, although technically in my story, um, she doesn't do this for a few years later. Okay, I'm gonna ask him to leave just because she's already embarrassed enough. Okay, so, um, we're gonna flash forward to her birthday, which will be tomorrow after her day at school at 6. Okay, so Dylan just called Kitty and um, she's going to completely ignore it, so let's pretend she didn't even answer that. Um, she's just blowing him off, although he wants her to under- like, he wants her to understand that he's there for her, no matter what, even though she hurt him. Now Dylan's dad is trying to get her to come, and nope. Uh-oh. For some reason, Bruce is doing really bad, so I guess Diana will help. We'll all have bowls and then we'll call Bruce. And she's burying herself in work, as she always does. She, I don't think she's calling Brucey, but, um, okay, so she got to level 3 of that, and so I don't know how high she should be in the skills, but I feel like that's good, and then we'll have her practice her debate until her party tomorrow. Katie isn't the only one struggling. She's, she thinks she's talking to a ghost, and it's off to do something bad with the ghost. Okay, so Kitty starts work and goes to school in an hour, and so does um, Diana for school. I mean, work. I, I, I love how I completely flipped both of them. Um, and it's not only click on the bed. Okay. So she is seriously burying herself and everything, trying to make sure she can get her economics degree. And she's moody from like just being angry at the world for no reason. Um, okay, so her mom should get up from work and she should get ready for school. Cause I think it's her today. Water English. Then she has her birthday tonight to, to age up and get ready to go to uni. Cause the series is mainly uni based, so this is just a pre story for our main goal of getting to university and they'll both be working hard because um, they both like to bury themselves in work for some reason uh, like like mother and like daughter and so hopefully she gets to a great age student today but I don't really have hopes about that maybe now Dylan is even trying to sneak it over and she's like no Unfortunately, um, her thing was, her birthday was planned before they broke up, and so he's coming! Surprise Katie, and they're gonna be so mad. And Diana's just like, yes. Okay, so why does she know us from being a teen? Okay, so her mom can do it, but we're not really gonna be worried about her mom, so she's gonna have to bake her own cake, though. Um. Probably since her mom is at work right now and stuff. We're trying to get on this uni grind. Also, she got mail, so I think it might be the scholarship info. Hurry up, cook, Katie. Cook. That bike no one was riding on. Did you guys see that or was it just me? Crazy. She still has a broken heart because of the slice of life. And so, 
I love how it forgets about death faster than broken hearts. It's like, it should be the opposite way. She wants to clean up her hair pile from owning a hairy Scooby. I'm joking, that's just what I call my doll. Okay. Is the cake okay, Polly? Okay, so it is okay for her party. Okay, so she's getting her mail and her mom needs to go off to bed before the party. And she was promoted to legal secretary. Okay. Um. So we're gonna have her open her mail. Oh no, she didn't get the help in can, but did she? Wait, d those are both about helping hand or? She was not even wore the new crest precedent, although she lives in it. That sucks. I gotta sell this and this because she is no longer going to have school. And so we're just gonna blow out her candles immediately. Woo! No one's here yet, but that's how TV rolls. She's just like, I don't need this over with. I don't want a big, huge party. So, young adult who lifelong responsibilities, I can't say that word, like growing careers and vast horizons away. Whoever said their 20s aren't a boss? And so she had a teen trait, so she has two traits now. So she, of course, is going to get the gloomy one for now. Because, um, she lets her dad death haunt her way too long. I also thought about giving her the hot headed, but I don't think we're going down that route. Okay, I have no clue what to give her next. Um, I have no clue. I think sort of a loner because she blows off everyone and then we'll change them as the story progresses hopefully and that's weird her dead father since her gift and she wants to end this party as soon as possible so um she doesn't get to come and then I have her apply to uni immediately uh oh why is Bella catering our thing Okay, so that is where I'm going to end today's episode. If you enjoyed all the drama and you're excited to see where Kitty's life takes her, will she be going to Branchester or Foxbury? Will she be go living in, in dorms, in a frat house, or whatever they're called? A sorority house for girls, sorry. Um, I think. <laughs> or will she be living in the city with a bunch of roommates? Um, and will she meet anyone, or will she be too haunted by her past to, to learn to love to again? Anyways, that is where we end today's episode. If you enjoyed seeing it, and you want to see my Wattpad story, then please comment down below, and thank you so much for watching, and I f hope that you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye! Tag tag.